All right. So first we need to put in our inputs. Uh, so we need we need the fuel type. Well, that's just good to know. We need the diam we need the diameter. We need the heat We need the efficiency. We need uh, the heat of combustion. Whoops. I'll make this a little wider. So for our in-class example, we had kerosene. The diameter was 15 meters. The efficiency we had stated was 70 percent. And what was the heat of combustion for kerosene? 43,200 kilojoules per kilogram. We... Alright, so the mass flux, so m dot m dot double prime, this is our mass flux. Oh, what was the K beta for kerosene? K times beta. Is it 3.5? Anybody have their table 9.6? 2.5? Okay. 3.5? 3.5 is right. All right, so our, our, our mass flux is going to be equal to, oh, hold on. We need the asymptotic mass flux. So this is the S, I can't spell that. Call it asymptotic. So what's the asymptotic mass flux for kerosene? Is it 0 0.039? I think it is. Kerosene, kilograms per meter, meter squared second. All right, so then our M dot double prime for this particular case is going to be equal to our asymptotic mass flux times the quantity 1 minus, in Excel, exponential, you write EXP, exponential, parentheses, negative k beta times our diameter is 15 meters and we're going to close that first parenthesis close the second parenthesis and we should be done theoretically now it should be very similar to our asymptotic mass loss rate because it's a large diameter fire so it is it's the same all right so that's good now our, to get our heat release rate we need the uh, the efficiency which we have the mass loss rate which we have or mass loss flux which we have the heat of combustion which we have and the surface area so area is equal to what pi over 4 d squared. So in Excel you can either put 3.14 or you can write pi open parentheses close parentheses and that'll give it the value of pi divided by 4 times our diameter squared So that's 176. That's what we got for the in class example. Can you go back to the quantity so we can carry? Okay, hold on. Let me. He's going to get. Okay. You good? Okay. And then this guy. So this is just pi divided, divided by 4 times the diameter squared. Did you get that? Open parentheses, close parentheses. I don't know why it's coded that way. It's just the way it is. 
Got it. Should be 176. And so then our Q dot, our heat release rate, this is meters squared. I always like to write the units if I can. Kilograms per meter squared second. So our Q dot is going to be equal to. Oh, we need to put the efficiency in as a decimal, so we'll make it 0 0.7, not percent, ah, uh, nuts. I just want a general number, all right. So 0 0.7, so this is equal to the efficiency times the mass flux times the surface area times the heat of combustion. Did I forget anything? Those are the four things we need, right? All right, so 208, 410, is that what we got before? Okay. And then the height of the flame, if we were to do the average height, so this is the height of the flame, 50%. Uh, I like to make a note, make sure everybody's aware. We're talking about the average height, not the consistent height, is equal to uh, 0 0.2, whoops, I messed that up. So 0 0.23 times our heat release rate raised to the two-fifths power. So to raise things to the power, use this caret symbol, and then uh, parentheses around the two-fifths, otherwise it won't come out right. Minus 1.02. Uh, times the diameter. Alright, so that's 15.5. Is We didn't do that in the in-class activity. Does everybody get that? This is kilowatts, this is meters. That's a very tall flame. Alright, anybody have any questions? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording.